Dear Lord, if you could please guide me through this one as well and help me describe it well. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. This is Julie with JFK Freedom. I had a dream the week of Valentine's Day 2024 about a tsunami in Japan. It was my first tsunami dream. It was very uh, realistic. I have to admit the demonic is getting better at putting realistic dreams into my mind. However, the message is about repentance, so I believe this one was from the Lord. So I was going to draw a picture this time, but then I thought, ah, the internet has such good pictures and stuff, so I'm going to try to put those up as we go along. So I was in Japan, and I was a Japanese woman, a young woman in university, and I lived in an apartment that had an ocean view. I lived in a place with two other girls, and there were constantly young, college-aged uh, boys and girls in and out of the apartment, so I was kind of popular in the dream. And from my apartment, there was like a gorge or like a drop in the ground. I don't know why or what it was, but I'll just put up a picture of a gorge in Japan. But like from the apartment, there was this drop in the ground that was deep enough that it was going to like stop the waves. I forgot to say the first time I made the video that the apartment was like, I would say around a mile away from the coastline. I'll mention that later, but I didn't say that early enough in the video for it to be clear. So the wave was coming, and this picture is, I don't know, in the video from the apartment, I couldn't see what was down like in the gorge. I just knew there was just like this hole where the water could go down and come back up. I don't know if there was a river or if it was empty or what, but this picture is kind of close to what it was. So there were houses close to the coastline, and then the water's coming in from the left side on this one, and then it would destroy the houses. A lot of water would go into the gorge and then come back out, and the girls' apartment was perfectly situated that the water would splash up onto her window and then go back towards this gorge. So they were just barely safe from this huge wave. Um, and for some reason, I don't know if this actually happens in nature, but the first wave, there was a big wave that came and it like splashed up against the, the window. But maybe it was just a warning to her in the spiritual realm or maybe she received a vision of it before it occurred because I don't know if that can actually happen in nature that a wave, a tsunami wave does that like twice. Because usually you think of the one big wave and then the smaller ones after, but I don't really know. Um, so I saw the wave. Actually, it was like waves. So the water was very like white and it was not like the movies where it's just solid blue and then there's the white foam at the top. In this dream, the foam was like all over the big wave that was coming. So it was like, it was a huge wave, but there was still like foam all the way throughout it. And then the ocean was flat. By the way, I didn't say it about the apartment, but I just, I could also get the sense there was a lot of like sexual, people were just sleeping around with each other and it was a lot of drama because this person is dating that person and then that person sleeping with this person. So it was obvious to me that these college kids were not very, they were not into the Lord. They were just trying to so-called enjoy their college experience, which can just be a lot of drama at times. Um, okay, so I saw the wave. And then the ocean was flat afterwards, so I saw it get flat, and I knew that the wave was coming, and it was dropping, so it washed over all the houses that were close to the coastline. I could see the houses before the wave came, so the water came, to overtook the houses, then it dropped into this um, trench or gorge, and then there was this one university girl, a Japanese girl in a red dress. She had a very conservative dress on, but I knew she was in sexual sin. She was, and she had long black hair, and she was not gorgeous, but she was still pretty. She was running towards the apartment because she knew in her head, she just knew she would be safe if she could reach the apartment. And we were, I wish I could tell you the distance. Let me see if I have it. I estimated from the apartment to the ocean shore where the wave hit the sand, I estimated about a mile based on the dream, but I'm not sure what it would be. Yeah, I'm not that great with distances, but I think it was about a mile. 
So the water was going to come up and hit this glass. They basically had a huge glass window. So if the water had too much pressure, it was going to break the glass. Um, but they lived in a place that was perfectly designed so that the water would hit the glass and then wash back out. But if the girl got washed out, she'd get washed into that gorge, which is exactly what happened. So the water came up. And this is the part of the dream it actually skipped. So I did not see this part. The girl was standing there. And instead of repenting, this is probably the point that's most important anyways. So the water was coming for her and she knew it. And she realized she wasn't going to make it to the house. So she stopped running and she stood there. And instead of repenting, all she could think was how close she was to almost making it to safety. It was just this obsessive thought in her head. She just couldn't get it out of her head that she was about to die, but she almost made it, but she wasn't going to make it. Though she was just obsessed with that. And then suddenly the dream went forward to where all the water had already washed back out. In fact, the dream went forward to where it was like the next day. So she had disappeared from the ground. And the next scene was kind of creepy. It was like a movie. It like zoomed in on the spot where she had been standing. And there was a crack in the ground and it was all swollen with water and soaked. All the grass was soaked. And she wasn't there. It was like it zoomed in on the spot where she would have been and she wasn't there. All right, let me just check I didn't miss anything. Yeah, she was only yards away from making it. Oh, yeah. Okay, and then in this dream, this was partially an indication it was from the Holy Spirit. Um, <laughs> or you could just say I'm, I have a creative brain, which I do, but I still think it was from the Holy Spirit. I saw some Japanese signs on the yard, in a yard, um, and one of them said, it said something in Japanese, but I could read it. It said, like, good life in Japanese. And there was, like, a little smiling cartoon man who was drawn in a Asian style. I will try to find something similar to that. And then I saw a picture of a very traditional schoolroom. Um, the woman was dressed in lace all the way up to her neck, and there were not that many kids in the schoolroom. So I think this indicated that this would be, like, happening in a smaller town in Japan. Yeah, I just knew we were in Japan. But I think the point has to do with, like, I was thinking about it. Like, someone who is going to, someone who will be uh, hit by something like a tsunami or something that would happen very fast. They really need to use their time, like, in 2024 or 2025 to repent and get ready for for what they want to do in eternity and make those choices now because there will be some people dying that just not going to have a chance to do all that. Like they're just going to be overwhelmed quickly with a bullet or some water or a nuclear bomb. Like for some people, it's just going to be like, it's just going to be over really fast. Um, and maybe the Lord's warning you if where you're at, what type of thing you're looking at. Um, so if that's you today, I just encourage you to go ahead and start deciding how you want to live for eternity, how you want to live now that can indicate to the Lord what you want to do for eternity. So um, this is not to scare anyone, but the Lord's warnings are way less scarier than the Lord's wrath. So as scary as this is, this is not the Lord's wrath. This is the Lord's mercy sharing this with you today, and I hope it's a blessing to you. Remember, in His light, we see light. God bless. God bless.